So this is Shovel and Rust TV <clears throat> and this morning I just want to talk about something that happened to me in the past. It's just like it's something that I remember this morning so I just want to share it with my viewers and my subscribers, right? So anyway, before we get started, before we get into it, don't forget to like, share, comment. Turn your post notification bell on so each time we uploaded a video like this, you get it right in your phone. So I went to one of my friend house. I was on my way to one of my friend house one morning. I wake up and I meet into a car accident. Right? So it wasn't nothing that bad that I couldn't make it to my friend house so i made i made into a little fender bender car accident it wasn't that major and i still end up making it to my friend's house so when i went there it was two of my friend was there and i was saying to him you know what every day i wake up i pray when I say every day I wake up, I pray before I leave my house and I pray before I go to my bed. And this one day I didn't pray. Look what happened. I made into a car accident. And one of my friends, he was like, yeah, man, like we have to, we, have, we need to start praying. And my next friend, he was the one that changes the whole perspective of my thinking. He, he now, he say, so you going to tell me that you pray every day and the one time you didn't pray, you meet into a car accident. And I, and I said to him, yeah. He said, no, man, no, that's rubbish. He said, if that's the way you think, you in a bad, bad situation. And I started to argue with this man. I started to argue with him saying like, yo, I'm telling you, every day I pray nothing like this never happened. He said, okay, so he repeat the same thing. He say, Ross, you didn't pray this morning and you meet into a car accident and you gonna tell me it's because you didn't pray. That's why you meet into a car accident. And I say to my friend, yeah. He said to me, you crazy, something wrong with you. He said, I know people who pray every single day of their life and they meet into a car accident and they die. And you gonna tell me the one time you didn't pray, that's what happened? And I sit there and I stopped talking and I started to think, right? And we were there just talking other stuff and I wasn't saying anything at all I was just thinking like what about what he say because it's so it just hit my, my brain like yo you're supposed to be agreeing with me why are you not that's what I'm thinking to myself and I started to think like and I sat there for like 10 minutes thinking and when I come up and I'm when I came up with the answer myself I'm like you know this man is right but I, I was so shame I was so disgraced I, I didn't say to him but I say to myself and then just to just to just to give you a point of view of what I'm saying what happened with me and my friend I say to him you know you're right I actually say to him like maybe when I'm about to leave I say, you know, you're right. He said, of course. He said, there is no way because you didn't pray that hap that happened. And like I say, I tell him he was right, and I leave that house, and I went home, and I sat there and I think about it again, and I was like to myself, why I went there and disgraced myself like that? Why? Why did I even open my mouth and say such thing to him? Because sometimes if we just take a moment and think about 
this belief system that we're living in, it make it make no sense whatsoever. So because I was grow up in a belief system and and I was a part of it, I was one of them. I, I can't even. I'm not going to lie. I was a part of it who sit there and actually believe that when you pray, you actually get protection from this God, from this God in the sky. Okay, so that's that's where my knowledge was at one point. That that's where my reasonability was at one point. Until my friend actually said that to me, and it just changed the whole perspective of my thinking of my life just like that and it just goes to show that when you live your life as a religious person you will always be embarrassing yourself without even knowing it when you even sometimes even the people who think that they're not religious they actually have a religious mind a religious thinking because where we get where I get those thoughts from where I get those who embedded those stuff in my head those thinking it's coming from a religious perspective of my life that's how that came in you know what I'm saying so that goes to show me that if I'm gonna live my life I need to live my life with facts not believe and not something has to do with religion okay when you when you talk about religion um, with certain peoples they are always thinking so violent against you and if you are a religious person why are you thinking violence against someone when they say something about your religion that you doesn't like so the position that I was in at that time I know that I have to make a change I have to get myself together because I'm the type of person who does not like to embarrass myself so after that day I do a lot of thinking I do a lot of research I do a lot of reading which is the right thing for us to do when we can find a solution not to look up in the sky or go on our knees and start praying talk about help me Jesus or help me God this is not the way to go as a black melanated people we need to get we need to get those thinking out of our mind and that's where I make my change and I realize that I have to do this I have to get this together okay and I did my change and once you make one step of making a change in life to get better are to to find something that you never find before everything just gonna fall in place everything just gonna start getting natural to you okay so that was my story about what happened to me like years ago when I was young really young and I changed my life since then and who to tell I will say this on this video right here I stopped reading Bible and I'm and I stopped praying and my life is 95% better this was Shavuan Ras TV don't forget to like share comment subscribe turn your post notification bell on so each time we upload a video like this you'll get it right there on your phone I'll see you in the next video